Montreal at the international headquarters of Cirque du Soleil. I am so excited. I'm Jacqueline Forbes. I'm a YouTuber, but today I'm going to be an honorary Cirque du Soleil team member. Now I've been dreaming of being a part of the circus since I was a young kid, and although I don't think I have the skill set to do it, we're going to put it to the test today. I'm ready to Cirque way for a day, I think. I don't know. Fingers crossed. So we're here at the prop department. I am so excited. I'm gonna learn all about 3D printing, laser cutting, and everything in between. Let's check it out. Artists perform, so the right. security of the artist is super important. So we print a lot of flexible material because like this, if something happens, you know, they will be not injured by the material. So right. we always have to think about little things like that. Okay, well, I'm so excited to check out the props. Is there any props that are here right now that I yes. can like touch and feel and check out? Yeah, come, come with me, okay. Okay, come with me. I'm excited. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. This no is problem. why I'm not allowed in here. <laughs> Breaking the expensive things. Okay, I'm not yeah. touching anything else. Yeah. So in theory, you guys could create any object, any texture, yeah. any material. Yeah. So the possibilities are endless here. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. This is incredible. This is what my dreams are actually made out of. I see a sponge pit. There's a trampoline. There's so many things for me to hang my body off of, so I am so excited. I need to get changed though, because first things first, this outfit is not gonna fly in the sponge, but I can tell you that, so let's go get changed. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do at Cirque du Soleil? So I'm a coach at Cirque du Soleil, an acrobatic coach, and before that I was actually an artist for 10 years in a show in La Nuba. <laughs> Trying to stay in the center. You're so controlled. This is so bouncy, I haven't been on a trampoline in so long. It's a lot of power. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane. Woo. Oh, yeah, she's I, like, don't really have that much control, though, so we'll see. <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Professional. Professional. <laughs> what are we going to be doing today? We'll do what we call cerceau in French, which is a real hoop. gloss in the face. To see more behind the scenes, go to my YouTube channel, Jacqueline Forbes. Or just click there. Or there. So we just had to take an elevator up here. We're up four stories. I hear that it's 23 meters high, like from the ceiling to the ground. So we're actually gonna be walking the grid. And I didn't realize this, but it's literally a grid. Like we're gonna see everything below us. So this will be a time for me to uh, figure out if I'm afraid of heights. But it's gonna be really cool. Apparently this is how they sort out the lighting and all the rigging for all the apparatuses. So I think we might as well go on a little adventure. Oh, baby. Okay, baby steps, baby. It's bouncy. <laughs> wait, wait, it moves. Yeah, it's a technical trampoline. So Wait, it's, this is it's, actually it's, a little it's, alarming. It feels like it's a trampoline, but you know, there's so much. Just uh, a trampoline, rigging. like 18 meters in the air. No big deal. Yeah. Whoa, wait, this is actually trippy. <laughs> Your feet go. <laughs> So okay. that's why we can wear any high heels. Yeah, uh, uh, high heels are a running no -go shoes over here. or yeah. How are you walking so leisurely? I feel like I'm gonna slip. That was nice. What what's next on the tour? Can we go down back on, on the ground? Today we're gonna do a makeup from Corteo, which is a hula hoop. I'm so excited. I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, well I don't know if I'll be that good on the hula hoop, but at least if I look good, hopefully I'll perform good as well. You will do wonders. We'll see. I'm excited. Let's hop on into it. Right. All the Cirque performers have to do their own makeup, right? Yes. So they have to learn from the pros. They have to learn everything. Do I have to recreate this on myself as well? So I'm gonna do one side and you do the other side. Pressure so we're is working on. together. Okay. Wow, that's the best cheekbone I've ever had sculpted on my face. I don't think I will be able to recreate this. Ready now to be a hula hooper. The skill and the actual acrobatics might not be there, but at least the visual is there. <laughs> 
So we're here at the costume department. Now, if you guys have ever seen a Cirque du Soleil show, you know that the costumes are absolutely insane. So I'm so excited to check them out. And little fun fact, they actually make everything here in house from printing, designing, all of it goes down in here. We do a lot of stretch, but okay. we do everything. There's nothing, that, we will actually take a material that has nothing to do with costume and mm. we'll adapt it for our need. There's not much that we don't do here. Honestly, it's, it's pretty amazing. So if you can think of it, you can make it a reality. Yeah. Usually much. if the designer has that mm -hmm. vision somewhere, usually we make it come true. Regardless. So I should have came here when I was like prom dress shopping. <laughs> kind of just made me the perfect gown. Now, I know you were saying you had a couple of costumes here that we yes, can check out. We do. Can we take a look at them? Yes. I'm very excited yes, yes, about yes, this. Let's do this. And I give you Fiona. Please. <laughs> Perfecto. And now costume mashup. <laughs> Okay, well, this has been so much fun. Hey, it's been a blast. Also, do you mind if I take this home? I feel like this is my new uh, cooking outfit. <laughs> this is the one. For cycling, right? Yes. Oh, cycle. Um, I was going to say like baking. Like, this is just what I would wear. Yeah, but there you go. I guess like cycling would make a bit more sense. Okay, this has been a crazy day at Cirque du Soleil. Definitely fulfilled my childhood dream. I mean, I think my new favorite is that aerial hoop that I did. Although I did discover a new fear of heights after the grid walk. But you know what? We're going to conquer it one step at a time. Thanks so much for following along my day. And thanks so much to Cirque du Soleil for having me. I think I need a hot bath because my legs are already sore. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> oh, I could just, I could snooze in here. Hey guys, if you want to watch another video, just click there. If you want to subscribe, click up there. And if you want to buy tickets, click right there. I'm just going to stay here. It's pretty comfy, actually.